Welcome, everyone. Good morning. We can do a little better than that. Good morning, everyone. Excellent. I don't know about you, but I'm truly excited to be here today. I can't think of a better way to start off not only our new year, but also this week and awarding these grants uh, to small businesses here in the District of Columbia in Ward 5 and one of our legacy minority businesses. I think all of that deserves a round of applause. My name is Karima Woods. I'm the Director of Business Development Strategy in the Deputy Mayor's Office, and I'm here to welcome you all to today's Great Streets event. Um, as many of you know, these types of events don't happen in isolation. Uh, it really takes a team effort, and so I want to acknowledge the team at DEMPED who have been diligently working on uh, this grant program. So I want to thank our interim Great Streets manager, Lauren Atkins, and also our Great Streets team, Sandra and, and Fatima and Jackie, all of those who have been working, and also our comms team. I also want to recognize our interim deputy mayor, Deputy Mayor John Felcecchio, for his leadership. I want to recognize uh, Council Member Kenya McDuffie, who uh, I believe is somewhere here, but thank you for your work and commitment to small businesses. Um, I also want to recognize our small businesses. Congratulations um, for being awarded this grant. Um, and last and definitely not least, I would like to acknowledge um, our fierce leader for her staunch support um, of small businesses here in the District of Columbia, Mayor Muriel Bowser. Under the mayor, we have been charged to support small businesses. We've been committed to that charge since the beginning of her administration in 2015, where we have awarded in the tune of 367 grants to small businesses in the amount of $18.7 million. That is pretty significant. And so we're pleased to be able to continue that charge today and continue to add to the vibrancy um, of our local neighborhoods and commercial quarters throughout the District of Columbia. We have 48 businesses that have been awarded Great Streets grants through our FY20 Great Streets program. Um, and again, I'm just pleased to be able to, to be here with you all today. Um, I will also add that this year, um, we have been able to award an additional 200,000 from last year to our great streets, um, as small businesses. And so again, we're pleased to be able to, to be here and join you today. Um, and so without further ado, I'd like to introduce um, and acknowledge um, our host today. We're here at the Dudley Beauty College. Um, it's a legacy business. It's a minority business. They've been here at this location since 1989. And they've lasted. Congratulations. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Mr. Alfred Dudley and Mrs. Melanie Dudley McLean. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, thank you all for coming. Okay, my name is Alfred Dudley. You can Al call me Al for short, but not for long. Uh, <laughs> This is my daughter. We are co-owner of this business, and we have been here for uh, several years. And I want to tell you a little bit about the history of, uh, of my family. Uh, years ago, when I was born, that was in 1935, uh, okay, my mother taught me, said, look, if you want to get out of poverty, you must get an education. Said so nobody in my family or your father's family ever finished high school, but you all must finish college. Said so now we're too poor to send you, but when one get out, reach back and pull the other. And that's what we did in 1972, number 11 graduated from college. So you can realize why we have education on our mind. And that's the reason that we have this uh, school now. My brother, who's a two years younger than I am, started the company, Dudley Product Company, in uh, 1967. He made his first product in the kitchen, and today they can find that product all over the United States and seven foreign countries. So that's, uh, go ahead and clap. That's, 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 
Th thank you very much. That gave me a chance to pause for a minute. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, so my brother started making products and selling products, and he decided that uh, because of the education that we had, that we should provide education to our customers so that they can become self-sufficient. So that's why we opened up the schools. He opened up this school in 1989 uh, and sold it to me in, 19, in uh, 2000. So I've owned it ever since 2000. And my, my daughter here who has been helping me and pretty much running the school for me, and so I'm gonna let her do a little talking here so I don't wanna do too much talking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Just to let you know, we were recipients of um, the Great Street Grants in 2018. We were really excited because we were able to do quite a few renovations to the building. We were able to do our um, bathroom and our shampoo area. We were able to do a lot of flooring. The entire outside, the window treatments were redone as part of grant money as well, as well as just equipment, chairs, um, steamers, just uh, equipment that just really benefited our school. It, it boosted the morale of the students. Uh, and because of that, I, I believe that we have a hundred percent passing rate for the state board just because of the you know the morale of the students and the staff. <laughs> yep, yep. So you know we've been yep. So we've been really fortunate with um, having the grant money help our business, and I definitely want to thank Mayor Mural Bowser for that because if not, we wouldn't be in the position we're in now. Um, hosting. So yes, yes. Thank you. All right. Yeah, we are we are really excited about this because it really have helped to improve our business tremendously. The grant. So I think we all should give Mayor Mural Bowser another hand here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether I'm supposed to do this, but I'm going to take advantage of this, of introducing our mayor to the group here. Most of you know who she is, but you don't have the opportunity of introducing her to a group like I do. So I'm excited about it. So let's give our mayor, Bowser, a great hand. Right. Thank, you, Thank you, sir. Let's give Mr. Dudley a great hand. And I want to thank the Dudleys for inviting us uh, here today and congratulate you on many decades of doing great business in Washington, D.C., and especially here in Ward 5, and acknowledge the dozens, hundreds, probably thousands of people that you have trained uh, to make us all look good in Washington, D.C. So give them a big round of applause. Uh, I, too, want to acknowledge uh, your council member, Kenyon McDuffie, uh, who is the council member for Ward 5, but also chairs the Council's Committee on Economic and Business Development. Give Council Member McDuffie a great round, uh, round of applause. Uh, and we're also in uh, on one of Washington, D.C.'s great streets here on Rhode Island Avenue, which I know uh, has gotten uh, a lot of attention from the council member over the years uh, and is truly a public private endeavor and working with the Main Street Association all of the businesses here uh, in the surrounding neighborhoods uh, who really want on uh, this corridor uh, to work for the neighborhood I also want to recognize uh, all the members of my team who are present you heard from Karima Woods and uh, John Falchicchio and the deputy mayor's office, as well as Christy Whitfield, who leads our Department of Small and Local Businesses. I also want to acknowledge Dominic Chestnut. Where's Dominic Chestnut? He's out, there he is. Uh, he is uh, my li liaison, we call them mokers. Uh, he's the mayor's uh, representative right here for all issues involving um, Ward 5 and making sure all of the agencies are doing exactly what you need done. Uh, you heard, thanks Dominique, you heard um, from Karima uh, I, what our focus over the last five years has been uh, in making sure that we're investing in 
small and local businesses. Uh, and you heard the big number and you also uh, heard from Ms. Dudley McLean how important those infusions of capital can be for a small business in, um, in brushing some things up, right? Uh, and, and spit shining them, if you will, uh, and making investments in new equipment, uh, in facades, uh, and really in the spirits of the people who come in and out of these doors. Uh, this wonderful establishment is is a perfect example of that. Uh, with the 2018 Great Streets Grant, you heard of uh, what this business was able to do to renovate, purchase new equipment and new technology and do more advertising. Uh, and because we know how important uh, what Mr. Dudley and his team are doing uh, here uh, in attracting people not only to a job, but a career that we know. Uh, the beauty business has put a lot of people through college uh, and will continue uh, to do that. And it's a starting point for a lot of entrepreneurs and business women and men in our city. Uh, and since, like you, um, we have used this award uh, over eight to um, grant over $18 million to 367 businesses in the last five years. And this year, with this announcement, uh, we are granting uh, an additional $2.3 million to 48 local businesses. Uh, and we couldn't be more delighted uh, with that announcement. We also know uh, that you will use those grant dollars uh, with other DC businesses on these construction projects and to buy um, uh, the equipment and to make the additional investments. So those dollars uh, will continue to circulate in the district. So with that, I wanna turn to our council member uh, to uh, have some remarks and then we'll get to the presentations of the grants. Council member McDuffie. Good morning, everyone. I am uh, always uh, excited to host uh, the mayor and welcome everyone uh, from around the city right here to Ward 5. Uh, still today is made even more significant by the fact that what brings everyone here to Ward 5 uh, is once again supporting small and local businesses across the District of Columbia. I want to thank uh, Mr. Dudley and Mrs. Dudley uh, the owners of Dudley Billy College, uh, for hosting us uh, here this morning. I also want to acknowledge uh, the folks in the government uh, who've helped to make sure that we could arrive here today with this great announcement, including Karima Woods, who's Director of Business Development at the Deputy Mayor's Office, Christy Whitfield, who's Director of DSLBD, who uh, obviously works hard to support our small businesses, and Mayor Muriel Bowser herself, who's focused on these very important corridors uh, to make sure that we were supporting our small businesses. Let's give them all a round of applause. I also want to recognize, I'm not sure if I see any ANC commissioners, but I know that, that uh, they're in here. Uh, there we go. Uh, these folks have been working tremendously uh, along with uh, the mayor and the uh, agencies with my office uh, to make sure that we were targeting resources to support these communities. And I want to recognize especially uh, the advisory neighborhood commissioners who are in the room uh, today. They just raised their hand. Raise your hand again so everybody can see you. Let's give them a round of applause for all their efforts. Uh, as chair of the Committee on Business and Economic Development, there are a few things that I enjoy more than doing what we're doing here today, which is supporting district-based small businesses. The Great Streets Program supports our existing businesses and helps to attract new businesses and create jobs for our residents while revitalizing these all-important corridors. Uh, it is a great program that has positive benefits for everyone, and it's an excellent for the small business owners themselves to receive these grants, and we heard from the mayor uh, and from uh, Karima about what this means. It's also great for the nearby residents who have more local businesses uh, and retail options along these more vibrant retail corridors. But I'm, I'm particularly proud of the impact Great Streets has had here in Ward 5. Uh, this program has resulted in real, demonstrable change along Rhode Island Avenue corridor along Bladensburg Road, along New York Avenue, North Capitol Street as well. And you can see it uh, where we didn't always have the sort of options, the restaurants and small business retailers who are now here today, who weren't here uh, just seven and a half years ago uh, when I started. Uh, but uh, Dudley, thankfully, has been an institution 
uh, in this community for at least as long as I can remember. And so I really appreciate uh, what you all have meant uh, over the years uh, along this corridor. And now to be complimented by all these newer businesses that have been supported uh, by this administration and administrations in the past. Uh, and since that time in 2012, an older, over 80 businesses in War 5 have received Great Streets grants. So today, uh, we're marking a very important milestone with the announcement of today's grantees. I believe we'll pass the $500 million mark in Great Streets grants to War 5 businesses uh, in particular. So that is such a, a momentous occasion for us to all be here today. So again, thank you all uh, for being here today. Thank you, Madam Mayor, for all your efforts. Uh, and thank you to the Dudleys uh, for hosting and continuing to be a stalwart uh, in War 5 and across the District of Columbia. Thank you. So um, that concludes our remarks. Um, I'm going to take any press, then community questions, and then I'm going to ask all of the grantees to join me uh, at the front. Any press questions? Yes, sir. Sure. Um, so our approach is to offer just as many amenities and services to D.C. residents in the most places that we can. Um, and that includes looking at all of our corridors and the existing businesses um, with how we can uh, support them. Um, that includes supporting Main Streets, uh, Great Streets programs and other programs that we have to support small and local businesses. Uh, it also means different safety programs, for example, with our, our small business camera, our uh, private security camera program, uh, and things of that nature. Uh, and it also means uh, that when we look across the city uh, where we have opportunities um, for bigger retailers, uh, that we are working with everybody who's interested. Uh, and for the most part, we have focused on grocery uh, and how we get more grocery stores uh, in all parts of our city. Uh, we happen to be on a, on a corridor that has spawned grocery, not only for Rhode Island Avenue, uh, but will open a grocery in another part of the city. And that is a really a good news story because it is hard uh, to achieve attract uh, large retailers. Uh, we know that D.C. residents shop at large retailers because we can go in D.C. and see them, and we can go outside D.C. and see them shopping at large retailers. So it's incumbent of us to be able to attract them to more places in the city. Uh, but their calculus is sometimes different. Uh, they uh, want no risk uh, in opening up. Uh, and what we have seen with our small businesses like Good Foods, which is right across the street and it will soon be in Ward 8, they're going to be on the South Capitol location, uh, is that they will take a chance on, on, on corridors. Uh, and we know when they do that, they may have a smaller format. They may uh, have very specific goods, sometimes goods very specific to the neighborhood or to D.C., and that's fantastic. Uh, and we are uh, very much involved in getting them to open a second location. I'm big on second locations. Anybody here who has a great first location, let's think about a second location, and especially let's think about it in neighborhoods that need those goods and services, because I'll be in, I'll be involved. I promise you that. The city will be there with you on that second location. Yes. I'm not aware specifically, um, and the Main Street process is competitive, as it should be, um, because that we ask a lot of the community when they are starting a Main Street. Um, and I'm especially tough on anybody who wants to start one. 
because it's hard uh, to sustain them. Uh, and so when you come with a plan, you come with a great board of directors, you come with a fundraising plan, uh, and if there are any ask of the city, um, come with those too. Uh, and the most competitive, the ones that we know that are sustainable, uh, will be granted a Main Street. Now, that doesn't mean um, even if you aren't a Main Street that you aren't getting critical services like you you'll be eligible for great street grants and other special programs for businesses any other questions yes hi yes Okay, that's a good, uh, I haven't actually revisited the vendoring license issue in a long time. I was on the council and you may remember, uh, it was a very tough uh, thing to, to bring those regulations um, up to, to contemporary times. Um, and there's still some things that we need to do. From down to last year, we dealt with lemonade stands, if you will, for, for kids. But that's just a, kind of a small example of what you're talking about, that people move goods and sales differently now. Um, and how can we make sure that people are able to comply with the law? Now, talk about balance. There's also a balance, because if you are on, in this store, or in this storefront, you pay taxes, and everything that comes to having a storefront, you don't want somebody competing with you on the street who doesn't have any of those responsibilities. And so that's also a balance that we have to strike so that uh, we have a, a fair playing field for everybody. Any other community questions? Okay, let's get to the $2.8 million. <laughs> Higher. Okay, Higher. in the category Great Streets. One, two, three. Great Street.